I'm so glad you joined me today. I have a fun story to read to you today called We're Back by Hudson Talbot. Now these pages are kind of old and flimsy, so I'm going to do it a little bit differently today. I'm going to read and then you'll see the pictures after I read each page. It's called We're Back, a dinosaur's story. One day, as I was beginning a little afternoon snack, I noticed a small but tasty looking creature approaching me. Uh, excuse me, sir. Hi there, sir, he began. My name is Vorb, and I'm with Mega Mind Inc. We're test marketing a new ultra mega vitamin on your planet, and it's called Brain Grain IQ Enhancer in regular or mint flavor. <sighs> well, the dinosaur makes it up into the ship, and he says, Huh? Where am I? And a weird feeling jolted me, he said. I began to utter strange, but somehow meaningful sounds. As I was saying, Vorb panted, we're testing a new Mega Mind project. And for the lucky volunteers, there was an extra special bonus prize. Hmm, I wondered what he meant. Then he added, and free snacks. Well, of course, I said yes. The other folks on board were surprisingly friendly, considering my years of terrorizing them. I was amazed at how easily they accepted the new me. It wasn't long before we became a new us. Together we studied geography, math, penmanship, reading, and all sorts of things. Then one day, Borb came in and announced, You've passed. Thanks to you all, one research has been done. It's been successful. It's wonderful. And now, for your prize, it's a trip to the 20th century. There you'll meet our favorite contact person, Dr. Miriam Bleep of the Museum of Natural History. What an adventure awaits you. Just getting to the museum should be the thrill of a lifetime. A thrill of a lifetime, I asked. But before there was time for Borb to reply, we were suddenly plunging downward in the dark toward water. We all sat in silence as we putt-putted toward our destiny, wondering what sort of welcome we would receive. I excuse us, we asked of the first little creature we saw. Could you tell us how to get to the Museum of Natural History? You're looking for the start of the parade. Just keep heading uptown. Traffic's light, cause it's a holiday. Oh, those are great costumes, the man said. Costumes? Parade? <laughs> well, we didn't want to seem like out-of-towners, so we nodded at him, thanked him, and marched on. We walked and walked until someone waved at us and shouted, Quick, quick, get in line! Behind the Wich Wichita Falls marching band! They're about to start! Perhaps... This is some kind of welcoming ceremony, we thought. The crowd loved us, but they did keep calling out these curious questions such as, where are your motors? And how, how many guys are inside of you? We simply smiled and waved and acted as if we knew what they were talking about. Suddenly, I caught sight of what I thought was a familiar face. Say! Isn't that old Woggle? I exclaimed. That Allosaurus who used to hang out by the tar pool? 
Maybe he can tell us where to get a bite around here. Hey there, big fella. Long time no see. Put her there, partner. Hey, stop. No, he, no, oh no. But that was my first mistake. I tripped. I fell. I fell onto him with my teeth. And all of a sudden he went, woof. And that started panic. Panic struck and people were running and we didn't know what to do. And we kept saying, wait, wait, you've got it all wrong. But they were so afraid. They were panicking. They were running. And then we started heading for the museum. The newspaper came out and said monsters hit Midtown. Oh my goodness. People were angry. They were chasing us. They were afraid of us. We didn't know what to do. So we kept trying to find the museum. And somehow we found our way to the museum. And not a moment too soon. We knocked on the door and I yelled, Dr. Bleep! May we come in, I said, as Dr. Bleep opened the door. Sure, but hurry, replied Dr. Bleep. I have a plan, but we have to act quickly. I can't hold them off for long. Now listen carefully. I want you to act like dinosaurs. That shouldn't be too hard, she said, kneeling down. And then she bared her teeth. Arr! Like this. And when I say freeze, hold perfectly still. As she got up from her demonstration, we timidly tried to imitate her pose. And she hurried toward the doze door and she turned in and she yelled freeze the door creaked open and the stomp of combat boots echoed through the halls we didn't move a muscle the creatures you speak of have been extinct for hundred million years said dr bleep i don't know who you saw run in here besides it was probably a publicity stunt for some movie or maybe the National Enquirer. They probably went out this way. Come back and see us again when you have more time. And yes, yes, I'm sure you like dinosaurs just like the ones in our arena. But you were doing your job. We understand. We understand. Now I must go. Goodbye. 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 And good luck. Dr. Bleak, I said, thank you. Thank you for saving us. But is it too late to get out of this special bonus prize? Oh, you're not having a good time, she replied. Aren't you just a little curious about this new world? There's so much to learn from each other if you could just stay for a little while and work with us here at the museum. But you don't have to decide right now. You can sleep on it. I've got beds all made up for you. And so, after we settled in, Dr. Bleep opened a book. Once upon a time, she read, in the early Paleozoic era, there was, was a little trilobite who wanted more than anything to walk on land. I muttered, go for it. We've come this far. Why not? The end.